searching for the good in our neighborhoods and each other. Not just finding what's wrong, but what's right. A true reflection of Cincinnati. Find the good in your mornings. Good morning, Tri-State. This is WCPO 9 News. We thank you for choosing us. I'm Evan Millward. Here's a look at some of the top stories right now. A Warren County woman accused of killing her husband is now in jail out of state. Las Vegas police arrested Stormy De La Gente earlier today. She's accused of murdering her husband, Roman Roshupkin, on July 6th at the Mallard Crossing apartment complex near Loveland. Deputies aren't yet saying how he died. De La Gente is being held in the Clark County Detention Center until she can be extradited back to Ohio. Ohio. Forest Hill School District students will return to classes five days a week this fall. The district approved its return to learn plan Friday night, but parents will have the option to opt their children out of those classes and instead enroll them in the district's remote virtual academy. Parents can also choose a blended option between traditional in person classes and remote learning. A popular Bond Hill family restaurants managing to expand during this pandemic. Sugar and Spice had a grand opening for its over the Rhine Pendleton location Saturday. You'll see some new safety features in the old Joe's Diner there because of the pandemic. There's plexiglass between every booth and no diner bar stool seating just yet. Masks are also required when you're eating. We had some storms Saturday, but they moved out Saturday night. Sherry, what's the chance look like on Sunday? Well, Evan, we're going to see a cooler night with those temperatures in the mid 60s, the upper 60s, but those showers and storms are going to roll back through probably closer to daybreak and by about maybe the 7 or 8 a.m. hour. It's possible we could be seeing another round of those storms. And this, if it comes this early, should move on out rather quickly during the afternoon. And we won't be totally left without chances of rain during the day on Sunday. They'll be more isolated, I think, and start to decrease as we go through the the day. So with that in mind, we'll start our temperatures off in the 60s and we end up in the lower 80s.